da, da, da. Da, da, da. All right, now let's look at a, a two-story wall on one side. So let's say this is your high school gymnasium on this side. And over here, you've got a classroom space or whatever over here, and you've got um, an exterior wall above it. So there is um, there are a few things going on here. So here's the top of the wall where, well, it's not the top of the wall, but it's the, <clears throat> the top of the low part of the wall. So you've got a bond beam, which provides bearing for the um, open web steel joists. You've got the bearing plate on there. And then we continue the masonry up, building pockets around the bearing for the trusses or the, or the joists. Our metal deck, now we're gonna build masonry over on the top of this metal deck, so we have to support that brick somehow. One way to do it is to use a, a, a downturn channel. It's not the only way to do it, but it's a pretty good way. So we continue on with the solid masonry and it's insulated here because remember, it's a two-story interior space on the left side there. So here we have the transition material, the air barrier, the um, the flashing, and instead of a drip edge, this is a counter flashing that the roof flat that the roofer's flashing will terminate into, and you'll see that come in just a moment. So here we have the rest of the masonry elements, everything we've talked about: insulation, cavity insert, face brick, weeps, drip edge, flashing, grout, you know everything. Now the brick layers are done; they can go on to a different part of the building. And what's beautiful is that the roofers can come and just tie into it and it all happens right here. Okay, so we have the, um, the deck sheathing, the, the vapor control layer, the tapered insulation for the roof, the cover board, the roof membrane, the, reg, uh, the counter flashing that fits into the reglet of the masonry flashing. So with this system, the roof can be easily replaced or taken off when it needs replacing without disturbing the masonry because the goal, the, the role of masonry is to, is, is, is to last for however long you design it to last for. We used to say 75 or 100 years, and I hope we will go back to those um, durable buildings, realistically 50 to 75 years. The roof is not gonna last that long, so it's important to have independence of those two systems.